All right, it's your boy Spank Dog, aka Puffinstein. You already know. Like, comment, subscribe at YouTube. And um, this one's going to be about money and people acting like they know stuff they don't really know. All right, this isn't geared towards any one particular person, it's more geared towards a mindset. First of all, money got the world going crazy. Now, um, I guess including myself, yeah. You know, we all, because of money, do stupid stuff, make bad decisions. Um, it's, it's too much. Um, nobody wants to share. It's gotten to the point where, like, listen, I don't. Trust me when I tell you that um, if you share my content or you don't, or you like, subscribe, whatever, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Really. And that's not me saying I don't want your subscription. I don't want your like, but I'm saying like what lengths am I supposed to go to acquire it? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a gangster, man. For real, for real. Like y'all people... You know, I don't really want to make it about that, but I'm just saying, like, and when I say a gangster, I mean a person with a good heart. A lot of y'all people misinterpret that as, like, I'm, 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 oh, he's talking about he's a street guy, he's got bodies. Nah, that's not what I mean. I mean, I'm cut from a cloth where it's just, it's in my nature to live by a code. Yeah, I try not to break that code. Matter of fact, I come... I come close to almost being perfect at not breaking that code. You know, I don't know if I can say the same about y'all. I don't know if you want to say the same thing about yourself, but it's my everything. You know, you know, a lot of stuff is going on right now where everybody, they saying names. You know what I'm saying? You hear, you hear P. Diddy, Oprah. Cat Williams, Shannon Sharp, even though he didn't do nothing wrong, he's to me he's one of the one of the few good guys in the situation. Cat's looking pretty good, and then it looks like a lot of people that lost their mind over money, and um, you know it goes all the way back to R. Kelly, but we're talking about you know Jeffrey Epstein, we're talking about um um I forget the other big time Harvey Weinstein um um. You know, um, Taraji P. P. Henson's in the mix, and then Gail came into it over Oprah. First thing I want to say is I don't know what Oprah has done. Before I jumped on this, I should have researched it before I jumped on, but and I didn't. I can't change this. I'm not stopping the video, so we're going to keep pushing. The show must go on. So, <clears throat> Oprah, I don't want to act like I know what she's done. I don't. I, I didn't research it. I should have again. I'm sorry about that. I'll put in the comments or in the in the description something um pertaining to what she's done for the poor. But um, you know, my thing is is like um you're getting one, you're getting one, you're getting one, you're getting one. Like um if that show cost you five hundred thousand, let's say she leased them for them, or even if she outright bought them for them. I heard, if I remember, I heard things that it wasn't, um, I don't know. I don't, let's just, let's just say she bought the cars for the people with the you're getting one, you're getting one, right? Let's say that was a $500,000 cost. Let's say it was a million dollar cost. You know, if, if her, if her fame and fortune grew from that $2 million, it was a, it was more of a million dollar investment. She ain't do nothing. I mean, listen, I don't want to take away from the fact that she gave the people the cause. But when you see a YouTuber giving away a free Xbox, it's not because they want you to have that Xbox because they care about you. It's because they want to trigger a, a a sort of raffle that'll 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 acquire subscriptions, likes, comments, everything that they would need. To get a social media check. I'm not mad about this neither. Um, I'm not mad about nothing. I mean if my son's autism don't get me mad. What could you do that could really get me mad? You know you got to violate. And when you violate. That's not you know. 
that's not the same thing as like a disagreement or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm I'm just saying like not even knowing no tough guy stuff. Just saying. Most of the time, I'm trying not to be mad, or if I did get mad, it's on me, because the person didn't really, if I can't get mad over trials and tribulations that I'm facing that, 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 that make me, they make me crazy, like, um, um, my son's autism, I shouldn't let anything that the next man does to me bother me, unless it's something where it's really that bad, you know what I mean? You know, and um, everybody says they know. You were there? I know Pete Diddy's a deviant. How you know? You was the one blessing him? I, like, I'm saying, like, you were there? You was watching? Like, like this ain't to, um, this is just the point where all y'all people being like, oh, he's a this, he's a that. Watch, watch your mouth, man. You gonna stick your foot in your mouth, man. That's real, real shit. Like you, you. A lot of people is just like he did this, he did that. You know, I'm, that's why I say like, um, I see Oprah. They're getting on her about Taraji saying that she's lowballing her. You know, I I seen something that they said any actress in Taraji P Henson's situation, as far as being a certain age in Hollywood, would affect her. Um. Um finances, but that don't mean Oprah got a short change her, so like one thing don't make sense to the other like let's say it did become harder when she eclipsed 50 um that don't mean that Oprah's supposed to offer her low money, even just as respect on some humanity stuff, like like it's not always business, you know what I'm saying, like um yo, this is gonna be a a, a, a um one way you got to click for the adult thing. So we're going to, I'm going to still keep it clean. I'm going to see if by the end of it, you know, I could put it where it's just a regular video. But I'm not really trying to hold back right now. So, but yeah, man, like people got to stop acting like they know stuff for sure. When they have no 100% proof, there's innocent men on death row for that same exact thing. Stop acting like you were there when 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 Oprah allegedly did something. This shit is all alleged, allegedly. You know, and um um, you know, there's you guys are acting like you got forensic proof and shit that that this guy did this and this guy did that and you know I don't I don't agree with people's lifestyles, but when you're gonna condemn them and put them behind bars, you better make sure that they did something that crossed that line. And I'm not saying that, you know, right now R. Kelly's in jail. Do I think he belongs in jail? The honest answer, no, I don't know. I never even seen the video where he does that, well, allegedly does that to that girl because I wouldn't even watch that. By the by the time that had come out, I had already reached the point in my mentality, like, I, like I'm, I ain't watching that even if it's, you know what I'm saying, like, so, like, I couldn't even tell you, but but people are saying, yeah, R. Kelly did that. And, like, that's a no-no, you know what I'm saying? So, when the heat comes down on you, you got nobody to blame but yourself, you know? If certain individuals, even though they were young, wanted to be with him, I don't know. I don't know. Is he a, a, a creep for wanting that? Yes. If that was the case, Yes. Does he deserve prison over it? You're talking to a man that's very careful about saying a man belongs by, belongs in a cage, belongs behind bars. You know, I thank God right in front of you that I didn't bid. You know, and that I'm alive. You know, in the in the song I say um um that I made it by the skin of my teeth. As far as dodging bullets and dodging the police, you know, and I thank God for that, you know. Listen, I'm going to wrap it up with this. This is the most important thing. Forget about what Oprah did, what, what Taraji's claiming, what what P. Diddy did. If Cat Williams is really holding it down for the poor. One person that I like throughout all this is Shannon Sharp. 
You know, he took he took a risk. He did something that nobody well Cat Williams too, if he's keeping it a hundred, like you can't be you can't throw stones in a in a what is this? You can't throw stones in a glass house. Something like that. You can't be talking crap if you do bull crap behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? So like if if, if you condemning these people, cat, then you better have a pretty clean closet, you know. I want to shout out my man Shannon Sharp. You already know what it is. Like, um, Cat Williams. I'm I'm becoming a fan. Not no. I, I take that back. I'm not a fan of nobody. You know, I, I got respect for people, and I I recognize them as good people and um, people that have a code that that care. You know what I mean? It can't, people would say they care too much. Nah, you care too little. You know. So, but anyway, yeah. Big shout out to Shannon Sharp, man. Um, big shout out to Math Hoffa, big shout out to my son, you know, and that's it, you know, um, we're going to keep it simple. Oh no, big shout out to Papoose. I'm going to leave it at that. They already know why.